You guys ready for another gold rush hack? I'm going to show you how to take a simple five gallon bucket and a cordless drill so you can go out and find gold every time. We call it the poor man sluice box. I'm going to show you how it works so you can get out there and find your own gold. So let's get into it. Now we came up with this idea years and years ago when we were working some of our placer claims out in Arizona. We were encountering tons and tons of clay and of course like you know that's going to clog up your sluice box real fast. So what we did is we started putting it into five gallon buckets and breaking it up with drills. Well we noticed that when we did that it acted like like a little sluice box and we didn't even need to run it we just pan it straight from there you can use it for sampling too cuts down on your panning time it also works on load gold after you crush it down to minus 20 to minus 100 mesh and i'm going to show you how that works today too now you're going to need a paint stirrer that you can get home depot or lowe's this is a small one or you can get these big monkers here. We use these if we got a lot of rocks in the mix and big heavy clay balls. But if not, you can use this small one right here. And this one works really good on a cordless drill. Now the first thing you're gonna need obviously is an empty five gallon bucket. Make sure it's clean. It doesn't have oils in it, okay? Now, if you got a second person to help you, that's great, but you don't have to have one. Look at me, I'm out here by myself in 120 degree weather. You're just gonna fill that up to about three quarters full. If you don't have a hose, you can just bucket it in from somewhere else. Now, if you're working with load gold when you're doing this technique, I highly recommend putting jet dry in the water. Breaks up the surface tension, makes the gold drop. And you're gonna have to do it periodically because a lot of the water is gonna slosh over. Remember, the water is the medium that's gonna be carrying out all your waste material. And as it goes out, it's gonna be taking some of this with it. So you need to occasionally replenish the jet dry that you put in the water so the ultra fine gold will drop to the bottom. So the principle's simple. You're dumping in tons of material. You're using the paint stirrer. As it spins, kind of like a Newton bowl, all the lighter material is gonna be forced up through the sides and over the top. And all the heavies, no matter how fine the gold is, is gonna be sitting at the bottom. I'm gonna illustrate that. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've got three sources of material to work with today. I've got some dirt here from my panning tub. It has a, just a little bit of gold in it for my uh, exquisite panning skills. And then I've got a whole bunch of material that I dug up in the backyard where we used to run the trauma and then dump our tailings. I'm curious to see what's in that. And then for our load sample, I went ahead and crushed up some of the material we got out of our hard rock mines down to about minus 80 mesh. So we're gonna do that on three separate runs and then we're gonna compare to see what kind of values we get out of it. And then we're gonna test to make sure that we didn't lose anything in the process. So let's get started. No, so come on, let's go. All right, now I got my lovely assistant slash rehabilitating nurse out here to help me because I'm not supposed to lift anything over 20 pounds. And these buckets are just a hair over 20 pounds. So, all right, uh, lovely assistant, come on in. All right, dump it in. Hurry, hurry, ah! Ah, ah, and yeah, you're gonna get wet. Yeah. Dump it all in there, yeah, baby. What a mess. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna get muddy. <laughs> Keep going. Don't worry, all the heavies are at the bottom. I'm just gonna get all that organic material out of there. Yeah, look at that. See all the heavies down there in the bottom? Yeah. All right, lovely assistant, tip it back up. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look juicy? All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep hitting it until we get this down to nothing. Now, another thing that helps is while you're doing this, tilt that bucket to the side. See that? Don't worry if there's any gold in there, it's down in that bottom creek. Look at that, ain't that cool? See that? There's like a cement mixer in there.
It sure beats panning. And remember, what you want to do is keep this drill in the very corner at the bottom. That way you agitate it and create that vortex at the bottom. Look at that. I've taken it all the way down to that much material. That's panable. And speaking of panable, we're gonna pan it out. Oh, I hear the rain coming. I hear the rain coming. Good, I need it. It's like 120 out here. More jet dry. You might as well just invest in jet dry, like buy a hundred cases of this stuff. All right, here we go. Getting windy. All right, yeah. Oh, I got stuff flying everywhere. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, get that stuff out of there. All right. Oh, see all that black sand. Right there, look at that ultra fine. Hold on. Oh, that's ultra fine. And this is just out of the backyard after the, we ran it through the trommel. Look at that. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just ultra. Look at that. There's another one trying to get away. There they are right there. See that? Nice. See if I can scrape them all together. Now you can see them, right? Now you can see them. Look at that. And that is with a five gallon bucket. See all that gold in there? That's that fine ultra gold that got away out of the sluice box. I'll put a snapshot of that up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ran my panning tub material through there and see what I get out of there. How many people out there think that I'm a good panner, huh? Leave your comments down below or if I should slow down. Well, we're about to find out right now. And did I mention you're gonna get wet? And yeah, you're gonna get wet. All right, so now we're gonna dump my panning tub dirt in here. So I'm gonna need the help of my lovely assistant again, uh, AKA Leela the nurse. All right, nurse Leela, get on in here. Dump it all in there, yeah! Woo, come on baby, light my fire! That's not very much. Okay, now I need water. Water! Yeah! So much easier! Like I said, just tilt it a little to the side. And four. All right, that should be enough. All right, 
pan it out. Get that water out of there because I don't need it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, the storm's coming! It's coming! <laughs> Remember what I taught you about panning, okay? The key to panning is stratification. Stratify that material. And keep in mind, everybody's got their own way and technique on gold panning, but the principles are the same. Stratification, which is getting the heavies to drop to the bottom. Tilt the pan forward, which gets it into the crease, and you can wash the lighter material out like an ocean wave. See that? Just do it again. See a bunch of black sand. All right, that's as far down as I want to go. All right, let's see what we got there, son of Jim. Black sand. Oh, I see gold. Oh, 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 oh I need. Oh, wow! I need to brush up on my panning skills. Are you seeing that? Oh man, I'm kind of embarrassed now. <laughs> oh man. There you go. Look at that. Let's see if I can get that black sand off of it. Finds all kinds of gold in there. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Well, it's good and it's bad, right? I'm a little bit out of words for that one, so. Oh, by the way, we're giving away all the padding tub dirt too. Stay to the end of the video, I'll tell you how. All right, I'm gonna put a snapshot of this up so you could take a look at uh, all the stuff that uh, Leela missed in the, in while she was panning. And then we'll go on to the load gold. Are you guys ready? Well, you better smash that like button or I'm not doing nothing except drinking this water. Remember to clean out your gold pan every time. You don't want to cross contaminate and think you got stuff you don't. All right, now for the last one, we're gonna do all that fine crushed material we got out of our load mine. It's down to about 80 mesh. You're gonna need to invest in a lot of jet dry. Get that water going in there. And like I said, if you have an assistant, it makes it easier because you can just focus on doing the water and the drilling and they can dump the material in and you can run it all day long. And then when you're at the very end of the day, you got a manageable amount to play with so you can just take it to the gold pan, pan it out right then. You don't need a sluice box. Now, when you're working with load gold, it's a lot easier because the material is one consistent size. I try to keep the drill in the middle on load because you're working with ultra fine particles. All right, let's see what that looks like. I think that should be enough. I didn't have a lot to work with. Slowly dump it out. This is what I got left. I don't know. Let's see if I can dump some of that water out. There you go. That's what I got left. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's about what I got left. Pan that marker out. Go to 10. Look at that, fine material. Gotta be careful with that load gold, it's ultra fine. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have anything in here. Let me get my glasses on, cause I can't see nothing. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, I see a little bit of fine gold. Ooh, yeah! 
Look at that ultra fine. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if that don't get your blood pumping, nothing will. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I got to eat that and rejuvenate. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of that too. That's that gold ore that we're getting out of our mine. Remember the assay reports? We're up to what, 15 ounce per ton? Ooh, that's one of the richest mines I've ever seen. Let me get a snapshot of this up so you can get it up close and personal. Now for some bonus material. You see this spot right here? This is where I dump a lot of my pan and tub water at the end of the day. Now, I'm curious if there's anything in this dirt. So we're gonna, Try to dig some up. And then I'm gonna get my lovely assistant to carry it for me because you know I can't do that. All right, lovely assistant, go ahead and pick that up. Yeah, you gotta have a lovely assistant. He's gonna go ahead and start dumping that in there. Nasty. Ah. See how different color that is? It's like chocolate milk. busy taking pictures. Oh. oh, yeah, no, sloppy. Now, I don't know if there's anything in this, but I'm curious. Ah, wow, that wind is kicking. All right, remember, strata, oh, is that a cat turd? Yeah, right there. Yuck. Get rid of that. Oh, look at that. There's a, what is that thing? That's one of those cicadas. Maybe it'll bring me good luck. There. All right, let's see what we got. More heavies, more heavies. Ah, gold! There's gold everywhere back here. <laughs> yeah, right there. See that? One, two, three, and a whole bunch of fines. I'll get a shot of that too. And that, my friends, is our poor man's sluice box. And like I said, we've been using that for years. Now, if you guys have your own gold hacks that you have out there to minimize the time that you're in the field so that you can get your sampling programs or even your production time faster, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section because I'm sure people down there would love to read it. I know I would love to find out some more tips and tricks on how to make my job easier so I can find more gold. And since you stuck around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can get your hands on some of my panning tub pay dirt. It's great for panning, and from what I've seen, it's got tons of gold in it. My wife must have been panning that day. And not only that, but we're giving away silver bars too, if you're interested in that. And we just gave away a DJI Mavic 3 Pro, and we're gonna be giving away more drones. Check it out. And I wanted you to see all the stuff that we give away monthly. I got bags of pay dirt. I got silver bars. I got gold nuggets. I got specimen gold. I got drones. I got big old, I can't pick it up, but I got a big old monster bag of gold over here too. 
This is just some of the stuff that we give away every month. Oh, you're missing out. I tell you what, if I was you, I'd sign up as a premium patron, lickety split, because we give stuff like this away all the time. And I know you know how to sign up because I say it all the time. You just look for the patron link like that and you click on it like that and you make a ten dollar pledge like that and if you like geology videos whoo i got a really cool one that looks like that go ahead and watch that one and it'll teach you a lot and i'll see you on the next video